So anyway, uh, apparently this game was only released in Japan. And thankfully it had an English patch already included when I got it. So, we'll try it out. Uh, I guess we'll do Usagi mode first. You know, the voice quality is not that bad given the uh, hardware. Punish me? What did I do? I did nothing wrong. Alright, stage 1-1. One, one. Okay, how are the controls like on this? Uh, that shouldn't be too bad to get used to. It's only two buttons. Checking to see if there's any special controls. Like any certain inputs. Mm. Nope. Seems pretty basic to me. Well, I guess if you hold up and attack, you do like a heel kick. Nope. Don't do it. Don't let ya. Can't crawl in this either. Oh, wait, there aren't. Welcome to the show. Okay, let's see here. Is there anything up that way? No. Okay, you can do... You can just climb ropes. Gotta try not to fall. What is anyone falling, anyway? So I'm one hit from death. Oh, is this gonna help me? Oh, that's the end of the level. Just pick up a random dagger. Hey, you do a pose every time you start the level, too. That's pretty random, I guess. Get away from me, cat lady. Wow, I just slipped right off. All right, do it again. Try it again, sailor dork. Oh, hey there, Tony. Welcome to the show. Oh, I, I have a throw move. Huh, I didn't think that was a thing you could do. Oh god, you feel so floaty when you jump. So that could be a bit of an issue. Can you look down? Yes, you can. Can I do N64 on stream? Uh, it depends on the game. Sometimes it doesn't always work. see anything. And I got a mirror, too. Alright, stage one, three. Why is it always that same wheel-like creature that keeps attacking first? That's random. You gotta combine the two things. Does N64 emulation work bad for you? No, but certain games are usually not compatible. Because the N64 is such a weird console. Boss. Oh no, it's just a combat mob. 
Are you the boss? No. You must be the boss. I'll just like knee you right in the right in your knee. It's not really much of a method of attacking. Okay, that is. Fine, I'll just do a jump kick. I win. Alright, password. 3633. Sailor Team Roulette? Here is the bonus game! You'll receive rods for your successes! How many sailor said she can you match by stopping the roulette wheel? Make a match, and another sailor said she will be displayed. Please press the start button. Fine, I'll do it then. It's no use! Got it. Oh, might have been too early. Nope. Too late? Damn it! Hey there, Will. And hey there, Cole. You were close! Son of a bitch. How many chances do you get? Too early. Like, you can just tell. Oh, time's up. I lined up two. Stage two, one. What's this place? Shopping mall? No. It's way too posh for that. It's one of those high-end Walmarts. <laughs> No, maybe this is the school. But I look so small over here. Is that supposed to be like that? It looks so odd. Oh, well, that invincibility was good while it lasted. Until January 2nd, that's understandable. Give yourself plenty of time, and then not have to stress so much over the holidays. If this is the school, that's a random uh, platform to have there. I've gotten quite a few requests so far, which is, uh, excellent. At least I won't have to worry about running out. What are the scepters, anyway? Are they, like, a uh, bomb attacks? You probably don't even need them for, like, the game. Also, check to see if I had a dash, and the answer is no. Son of a bitch. And awfully tired of those random bubbles. Two, three. Gimme. Also, what is that pendant that I'm picking up? Is that actually allow me to do the bonus stages? Excellent. Or 
Or you want to punish me, huh? Sailor Moon definitely turned a lot of boys into, like, subs. Like, yeah, punish me, Usagi. Oh, you attack me with music, huh? No, I don't want to listen to dubstep. You turn that shit off. All right, jump on your corpse. Fine tuxedo mask. Oh, he's, he's right there! <laughs> I see him right there! He's on the right side of the screen! <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, here's the bonus game. Your life will be restored if you win. Please try to find me. You can open doors by pressing the button while in front of them. Then, a sailor senshi should give you a hint. You have four chances. Okay. Hey, you remember elevator action? What if you played elevator action to stay alive? He's on this floor! Oh. Well, that's a positive. Let us meet again. Farewell. Wow, got him on the second door. Alright, stage 3-1. Looks like I'm out on the streets. I'm out on the streets while tuxedo mask out in the sheets. Wait, what? <laughs> Up! I hate that one enemy right there. So it comes at you so fast. Oh, come on now. How do you prepare for what you can't even see? Also, I don't think it's safe to leave you walking on the road like this. What if a car hits me? Back in my day, Soggy was named Serena. Well, it was my day too. That sound had to happen as soon as I jumped. You fucker. You're with a knockback, too. I'm dead. Like, way I died! So that's it. As soon as you die once, all your scepters are gone. I never even use them, and now I'll never know what they're for. Seems kind of mean, isn't it? I would imagine playing this game with the sound off would leave you really unprepared for all the falling debris in the game. Also, you think they would do something about those, uh, those sinkholes. Alright, 3-3. Three, three. I think you have continues on this, at least I hope you do. Boots. What? Ah, happened again. I was I'm gonna end up breaking my ankles doing this.
All right, bring it on, whoever it may be. It's always the same three every time. Uh-oh. Oh, it, it readied an attack already? Huh? Huh? There we go. Can you request GameCube games? No, you cannot. Quiz World? This is the bonus game. You will receive rods for your successes. A five question quiz follows. Alright, how much do I know about the uh, series? Uh, Minako's after school club activity. I'm gonna say. Nope, not brass band. What does the S in Sailor Moon stand for? Nope. The meaning of the Black Cat Luna's name. Moon. First planet for the sun is Sailor Moon's, uh, Mercury. Which are the shoes Sailor Uranus wears? Nope. I haven't watched much of the show, okay? Hey there, Resurgement. It's good to see you. Stage 4-1. Now this is looking more like a Spider-Man level than a Sailor Moon level. Can I write password just in case? You can write the current current one. Chances are this game might have continues. I mean, you could have waited till I actually required needing to enter the password. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought that was just gonna fall through. Get out of here, cat lady, unless you want to give me health. Of course you don't. Okay. I didn't know I had a range attack. You have to hold attack and release it. Okay, that was a godsend. And a part of it's already gone. Pretty long level compared to all the other ones. And it looks like it's still going after this lair. Okay, well, I just had like a shit ton of requests today. I mean, honestly, that's not a bad thing. It's always good to have more options. Actually, last one. You know, Will, you don't have to say actually last one because I know you're lying. Ooh, good one. Oh, you don't have to apologize. Just that if you put in a request, all you have to do is just go... Just put in the name of the game. That's it. Everything else is just, like, a superficial...
Whoop. All right, just go. I feel like I have to do my jumps a bit earlier than I normally do in these kinds of platformers because I just know that's going, I'm gonna fall through. Okay, I just gotta get the timing right. Okay, I did it. Hang on, who said that? Oh, it looks like that's Tony. Why the hell would Twitch decide because you submitted a retro game to make your uh, name Dark Blue? ROM hacks are not for retro requests because I also do hacks on their own day. And I already got a hack planned for tomorrow. Apparently there was like a new uh, hack for Legend of Zelda 1 that came out that converts the game into a roguelike. So I kind of want to check that out for tomorrow's stream. Alright, stage 4-3. Why is it usually like the third level of a world has these kinds of platforms? Really every time, too. Oof, thought I did that too late. Alright, let's do this thing. Pose down. Oh, if you hold it really long, it becomes that attack. Which is a screen clearer. Rude. Oh, too close. Yeah, just punch her in the legs. That's how you win. What are my thoughts on the Mario movie? I don't know, I've never seen it. It's not even out yet. I don't watch much movies anyway. Well, here's the bonus game. Your life will be restored if you win. Guy and Luna P-ball to the goal without colliding with Luna or Artemis. Move right with button two and left with button one. Why can't you just use the D-pad? Like a normal game. Oh god, they're flashing too. Oh! I tried to stop. Didn't work. Five one? Looks like we're in some kind of sewer system. Also, I noticed something that I am not a fan of. We have not picked up a single extra life the entire game. I'm dead. Okay, you do have continues. That's good to know. 
Hey there, Phantom. Good to see you. Alright, we gotta do that again. That's at least one game over. Wait, I thought there was an enemy over there. I guess it just fell in the water. Huh, oh, not my problem. I can stay dead. Also, that fire fell behind the foreground. I'm not a fan of that. Okay, Moon Tiara doesn't do that much. Yep. And there we go. That's the first level. Yeah, it does look like a lab. It starts off more like a sewer than a lab. I guess most villains tend to have their labs and sewers. Gotta maintain a low profile, I guess. Ugh! Almost gonna be a bit worried! How do you feel about modern games today replacing cheat codes with DLC if there is DLC in said game? I don't mind DLC in games, but DLC, like cheat codes as DLC, just sounds like a cash grab. Like, remember when you had to memorize a bunch of button inputs just to have infinite lives? Now you can do it if you pay five bucks. Five three, let's do it. All right, what bitches kneecaps am I gonna be popping this time? Well, this looks dangerous. Where's the floor? I don't know where the floor is. Oh, good. It was the whole area. I thought they were just gonna put in a blind jump and kill me. Are throwing the same three minions again. What the hell? Oh, it's just two bosses. The pallet swaps of each other. I win. Now I actually win! I thought the red one was already done! Look at my red dress! It's cuter than yours! Here, let me just spawn right on top of you. I win. Oh, I thought there was another boss after this. Password is like all eights. That's easy to remember. Tee 
hee hee! Wonderful! Whether I obtain it or not, I'll make it mine for sure! Ha 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 ha! Depends on what it is. What do you mean by it? Look at the size of that scepter, I'm just gonna bonk him with it. That's the ending! I... That didn't make any sense! It looked like that cutscene was supposed to play before I began the level. Not after! Frustrated into the goddamn word for it! This is bullshit! Seems a little disjointed, don't you think? Ass! Well, it looks like there's another mode. So, I, I guess I can take a look at it. Disappointed! Hey there, Anubis. Good to see you. Hard mode for the true ending? There is no difficulty setting. Alright, I'm just gonna skim through the credits. And... Hang on, let's take a look at the other modes. Chibi Usa mode. You might also have to collect all the items, so that's what I did in the original playthrough. Okay, so this is just the same game, but with a different character. There's a scepter over there, but it doesn't do anything. Ah, life-giving water. Nectar of the gods. I should go do that. I mean, to be fair, what one more is there to this game? It's on the Game Gear. Yep, spikes are instant death. <laughs> 